I can't be held responsible for the things I say. For I am just a vessel in vain. Can't be held responsible for the things I see. For I am just a vessel in vain. No boat out. December 15, 2011, we're looking at the latest C3 image, and you notice it goes behind the circle here that blocks the glare of the sun. Notice it's 2306. These are fast updates. Things are changing fast. Hold on. Now, this is from the CO2 lens from uh, your same satellite. <clears throat> December 15, 2011. It's 6 p.m. Central Time U.S. Notice your t clock right here at 2306. On the wide angle you, that from Alaska 3, you have a wider circle. The white circle is the size of the sun. Now, if you look at this image from C2 at 2300, just a few minutes before this comet Lovejoy has not st struck the sun yet or has not gone behind it. Now this camera is different. I noticed the larger white circle. That's because 
this outer glare blocking circle is smaller so we do may not have contact here yet we're going to be updating it thanks good evening everyone it's Francis it's 606 p.m. outside of Houston Texas and what we have is Comet Lovejoy uh, crash and burn into the Sun you'll notice what I notice uh, specifically is how as the comet actually started heading to the Sun it appeared to get smaller and smaller so there there was to me a, a scale of this that had the comet looking bigger the closer it got to the satellite but as it got closer to the Sun we started losing some of that ginormous you know visual scale but now what we have is we have the, the little one going headed in first and see we're missing some data here so let's go look at the other Soho here's the other one that's running through 1214 there's 149 images of this uh, set let's see if it takes us all the way into impact 10 11 12 14 I think it's going to go the whole way. See that we kind of apparently have some missing data. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Now we're going to go 140. We're going to do we're going to do the nine frames. This is what we're getting. If you look at it, the sun doesn't look too perturbed by it all, which is good. The sun does not look perturbed. Doesn't look messed up. Doesn't look like we threw a can of gas on it. Here's our update. 2011 W3 Comet Lovejoy has touched down on the sun. Have a great evening.